Hey guys, it's Crystal back at it again with another video and today I'm sharing all my favorite things about Colombia. If you stumbled onto this video, it's probably because you're thinking of applying to Colombia or the Ivy League in general and you want to know more about it. I know I definitely did when I was applying and so I wanted to make a video talking about what I loved about my experience at Colombia so far, both on campus and online. If you don't know me, I make videos on college life and succeeding in high school, so if you want more of that in your life, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post. So, and also comment down below, out of everything that I say today, what about Colombia sounds like it would be your favorite thing if you went there. So I'm splitting this video up into three different sections and I'm going to start out with people and then we'll get into the campus and resources. But first and foremost, I am hoping to major in creative writing. That's what I'm planning on declaring and also hopefully business. I just applied for that so wish me luck you guys. But both of these departments, what's interesting about them is that they're super small even though they're obviously on super different ends of the academic spectrum. And all my courses that I've taken so far, even if say there's a big introductory lecture with like almost 200 people, there's another course that counteracts that because I'm literally in an acting course this semester. Yes, we do acting over Zoom with two people. There's one other person, my team partner. We're meeting tomorrow night, it's gonna be a blast. It's so fun, it's like having a private, basically. But that's the norm in these departments, especially the smaller ones where you get to know all the teachers who are, by the way, amazing in the creative writing department. They're all incredibly well-known, well-respected poets, authors, journalists. Columbia has a whole graduate school of journalism, so there's a really strong culture of writing here, which I so appreciate. And all the teachers, even though they're, I mean, basically bigwigs in their field and they have total license to abuse their power if they wanted to, they are so kind, so welcoming. I totally recommend going to office hours because you can get really close with the teachers and get to know them. I have teachers in like one of my psych courses where my teachers literally says come to office hours and I'll tell you about my kids. So even if you don't have questions, it's such a good idea to go because they really care about you and that feels so special. Columbia isn't the biggest university for undergrads, but it is still pretty big and it has 15 grad schools. So feeling like you're not just another face in the crowd I think is so important, especially when you're in a college experience, it's completely different from everything you've ever known. Obviously, there's a lot more to people than just faculty, there's also the other students, and I'm sure you guys wanna know about the party scene. Honestly, for me, I'm not a big partier, but Columbia's party scene is actually perfect for me, and I really appreciate it because of that. Because we're located in NYC, there are a lot of options, even just right outside of the Columbia Gates, for people to go and socialize. 1020, Mills Burger Bar, those are some really popular ones. There's, what's it called? Amity Hall, I think it's called. There are definitely a few places within walking distance, and people go there and they socialize, or they can even just literally go right out the gates onto Broadway, hop on the one train, and go wherever they want, even all the way down to Brooklyn. So people do a lot of their partying and cutting loose off of campus, which for me is honestly the best scenario possible because if I'm partying, that's fine, but then if I'm not partying, I kind of don't want to hear other people partying and have my studies disturbed, you know what I mean? I'm kind of a geek about that. I just really like putting on my noise canceling headphones, putting on some music and getting down to it. So when I was a freshman, for instance, I lived in a dorm that was known for being social, but it wasn't the party dorm. We never had parties there or anything like that. And that was perfect for me. The sounds of New York City are already enough with the sirens, but both are great. And you can find whoever it is that you wanna do whatever you wanna do with on campus. And the last thing I'll say about people is that they're just wonderful. Everyone is really chill, kind. We're a collaborative campus, not a competitive one. I've never experienced undue competition here, even less than in high school, honestly. And once again, going back to the party scene, I don't drink at all personally, and people are really normal about it, you know? Like, aside from people asking me, oh, do you want something? I've never been peer pressured into doing anything. If I just say no, people are very understanding. So once again, you can 100% find your people whether you want to do more of that or obviously not at all, like me. <laughs> people kind of lead naturally into campus, which is the second of the three main points that I want to cover that I absolutely love about Columbia. For me, I feel like Columbia's campus is as big as you want to make it. 
technically the main campus only fits between two blocks by two blocks so kind of small i mean if you want that idyllic rollicking green hills and super classic suburban or rural college bubble environment no you're not going to get that at columbia but the whole city is your campus Plus, you can totally stay in what is the Columbia bubble, those like four blocks overall or so, or you can register for classes at Barnard. You can visit the Manhattansville campus where sometimes teachers have office hours. You can go to some of the grad school libraries that are just a little walk down Amsterdam and you can go study there and have a completely different change of scenery. That's how I like to think of it. It's a pretty small campus once again, but for me, I love that because we have a lot of students. So the way I would put it is in my experience, I never walked into a dining hall at Columbia back in the before times pre-coronavirus and either saw nobody who I knew or saw too many people that I knew where I felt like it was too small and everybody knew everybody's business so it's friendly and you can always kind of find someone who you're at least acquainted with but it's not to the point where you feel like there's a lack of fresh faces and then if you want more of that classic college experience you can take the shuttle to the football field watch some games half an hour away and then yeah once again all of new york city is your campus and i think that's really important honestly I am not navigationally gifted. I was a homeschooled student and living in New York City, even for the short period of time that I was able to before we were kicked off campus because of coronavirus, whipped me into shape like that. Speaking of NYC, there are obviously so many exciting things to do. I feel like it's important not to over romanticize that too much and think to yourself, oh, I'll be going out every single night doing something new in NYC. That's just not realistic when you're taking lots of classes and you wanna keep your GPA up. But I, when I was in the city, went to see Seth Meyers live. A friend got free tickets and shared them with me and another friend. And we saw Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who wrote the TV show Fleabag and also wrote the first season of Killing Eve. She's amazing, role model, icon. I also went to this Marvel Avengers virtual reality pop-up, which was super cool. I saw my favorite musician in concert live it was awesome i went on walking tours of historic district in the city what else did i do oh i went to the met with friends of course that's literally the classic columbia experience you cannot go to columbia and not go to the met at least once and then i mentioned my freshman dorm a little bit before but yeah the dorms are great i really appreciated my dorm we were corridor style housing there were maybe 30 or 40 of us living on one floor and there were i think 15 floors my floor was so close it was amazing i feel so lucky to have had that really idyllic getting close with your floor mates everybody watching tv in the lounge together people would watch the bachelor in there like 25 people crowded in there together it was so cute to see we did friendsgiving some of us we hung out together all the time it felt so warm and cozy and i'm still friends with a lot of those people even now so I am just so happy I had that experience and once again there are really different kinds of dorms depending on what you're looking for. There's the louder party dorms, there's the dorms where they literally have a curfew where you have to be quiet and you can really get a lot of studying done. You have dorms where upperclassmen and freshmen are intermingling so the freshmen get like a mentorship experience. Literally anything that you could look for. They have all these different kinds of themes which I think is just so nice. So now that leads me into the resources that campus and Columbia as a whole offer. People say that Columbia can be kind of a bureaucratic school and that is true in some ways, but if you want to be a go-getter or a leader and seek out different opportunities, they make that really easy. Like for instance, in my first semester, now freshmen in their fall semester are not allowed to take more than 18 credits. But I really wanted to play in the orchestra. I had auditioned, I was accepted, I was granted the position of first harpist, so I was section leader since I played the harp back when we were on campus. And that was technically a two credit course orchestra that I had to register for. And my academic advisor was so helpful to me. Honestly, this is, I don't know if I should be saying this, but she helped me realize that I could actually just get in touch with the conductor and unofficially register in the course so it didn't show up on my transcript and I could basically take 20 credits unofficially and it worked out okay. 
So shout out to my academic dean. Speaking of orchestra, at risk of sounding like a campus tour guide, there are basically clubs for anything that you'd want to get involved in and you can of course make your own club. I always felt like that sounded a little bit like pie in the sky when I actually went on college tours and people said that, but I've actually had a lot of friends do that. Like I know two girls in my year who made a slam poetry club, which I'm part of, it's super fun. And another of my close friends made a creative writing workshop group, which is also amazing. Obviously I have pretty consistent taste in friends, but there are clubs for once again, literally anything that you want to do. I really want to get involved in the Aikido club when we're hopefully back on campus. Hopefully next year, we'll see. Yeah, specifically, as you guys know, I like music. I also really like ballet. There are three different ballet ensembles on campus and there's gotta be double digits of music ensembles even though I've only done classical orchestra personally. Plus, because Columbia has 15 graduate schools and the campus is so small and easy to get around, you can access a lot of events that are put on by the grad schools. Like for instance, when I was in freshman year, I went to this lecture for someone who was technically supposed to be there for the students getting their English master degrees. I was the youngest person there, the baby of the room, but it was so helpful to me and I actually used what I learned there to write an English essay. I think I actually vlogged that in, I believe it was my weekend in the life video, so you guys should definitely go check that out. It was super fun. So that's everything. Obviously this video can't possibly contain all my favorite things about Columbia because if it did, it would be an hour long, but I think everything important found its way in. Of course, Columbia is not perfect. No school is. And what really matters is fit. Columbia is the right school for me, and that's why I've been able to enjoy my experience here so far. If you've watched until the end of this video, thank you so much, and please don't forget to vote for me in the FedEx Small Business Grant Competition. And of course, like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends, since friends help friends. Comment down below what you're looking forward to in college, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.